So this is uh, kind of nice. I can showcase my cosines and asshole theory a little bit more. Um, what's my what what trig identity should jump out at you? Because that's the instructions they say. You know, they give a little hint. Use a trig identity first. Hold on, number 40. This guy here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, like sine A minus B would be sine A cosine. Sine's like, let's both take a turn. Oh, it's a minus sine. Let me keep it a minus. And now it's sine takes B and cosine A. So they, they get a turn. You know, it's nice. Cosine, of course, says, me first, screw you. That's a minus? Who gives a shit? Sine A, sine B. Right? And the proof is actually kind of nifty, but we're not going to do that tonight. But that's a nice way to remember those identities. So, of course, I mean, this, of course, being a nice angle kind of tells me. So this would be? Goes in T, goes in pi over 6, plus sine T, sine pi over 6. So now it just becomes two, it just becomes a cosine T with a, with a coefficient and a sine T with a coefficient, so the Laplace can just attack it. Is that, is that cool? What is cosine pi over 6? Yeah, because pi over 6, of course, is... Third A is closer to the x-axis, cosine likes x, so it's bigger when it's closer to where it likes it. So it's root 3 over 2, so it becomes 5 root 3, cosine t. So that's got to be the other one. Yeah, 1 half, so 5, sine t. And now you can attack it with Laplace. Kill it with Laplace. Anything else from homework stuff? All right. Well, that was one question. That's good. It's better than some other classes. Um, so I want you guys to, I put this up here as a little reminder. If you don't have that one worksheet I handed out that had these on there. I want you to work on these. Number two deals with this. I don't know why I didn't put more of those on there. Mostly this is about inverse Laplace and the translation theorem that we did last time. So I've got that down there too. You can work together if you like. If you don't like, then don't. <laughs> <laughs>